So why don't patients ask their doctors more questions? It's a point of frustration for me because I do my best to kind of explain things to people. And then all I get sometimes is a, is a deer in headlight stare and a nod. Now, I posed that question out on social media and the overwhelming response I got was, patients don't know what they don't know. That they don't even know what questions to ask. So I'm gonna make it easy for you and give you those questions. On today's episode, 15 questions you should ask your kidney doctor. What's up San Antonio and world? I'm Dr. Kasim Bud and I'm a kidney doctor and I'm here to break down health in a simple way. Now do me a favor, hit up that like, share, and subscribe button. It'll really help me out. When you walk into a doctor's office, I want you to feel empowered and know what's going on. And the best way to do that is to know what questions to ask. So I'm gonna really simplify it for you. If you walk into a kidney doctor's office, a nephrologist's office, and you have kidney issues or you've been diagnosed with kidney disease, these are the questions you need to ask him or her when you're having that appointment. What is my creatinine? Now, creatinine is a breakdown uh, product of your muscles, but it's used as an indicator of how well your kidneys are doing. And a normal creatinine is around 1.0 or so. Now, uh, as the creatinine worsens or gets higher, that's a sign of your kidney function actually worsening. What is my EGFR? Now EGFR roughly represents the percentage of kidney function, okay? How well your kidneys are doing as a percentage. Normal percentage is greater than 60, okay? And just to give you perspective, those that need dialysis, their kidney functions are typically less than 15%, 1, 5, 15. What stage of kidney disease do I have? Now, uh, uh, kidney disease or CKD, chronic kidney disease, is defined as, as five stages, stages one through five. One being the least se severe and five being the worst coming close to dialysis. Now, your stages correlate to your EGFR percentage. Now, this is where you have to ask your doctor, what stage of kidney disease do I have and what percentage of kidney disease do I have? How long has my kidney function been at this range? Now this is crucial for you to understand how your kidneys are doing. Are they getting better over time or worse over time? So this is where if you know your kidney function say is at 30%, but the doctor tells you two years ago was at 50%, you have a general understanding of the trend and that your kidney function may be declining over the years. Are my electrolytes normal? Now the kidneys are a filter, they clean your blood right? But they also balance all your electrolytes. And as that kidney function declines, the ability to balance those electrolytes go down, particularly for two types of electrolytes, the phosphorus and the potassium, both of which go up and worsen in later stages of kidney disease. Is there any blood or protein in my urine? And if so, how much? Now, as I said, the kidneys are a filter. They clean your blood, right? They get rid of the bad stuff and they keep the good stuff in, okay? Blood and protein are the good stuff you wanna keep in. So if you're leaking blood and protein in the urine, that could be a sign of kidney disease and the amount you're leaking could show you how fast your kidney disease could progress. Have you done a kidney ultrasound? And if so, what did it show? Now, a kidney ultrasound essentially is like a picture of your kidneys. So what we're doing when you do a kidney ultrasound is to take a look at the kidneys and see if they're nice, juicy, and healthy, or are they small, shrunken, and prune-like, okay? You also wanna rule out any kidney stones or kidney cancers or, or anything like that. What do you think caused my kidney disease? Now, most of this, uh, most of the diagnosis of kidney disease or what caused it is usually done by clinical history, meaning you tell me your history, what you've been through, and I can presume, hey, 30 years of diabetes destroyed my kidney, destroyed your kidney, or uh, 20 years of high blood pressure hurt your kidneys, things like that. Do I need a kidney biopsy? Now, a kidney biopsy is taking a small little needle, putting it into one of your kidneys, taking a sample of it out, and then looking at it under a microscope. Now, and and that, that can actually determine the exact cause of the kidney disease. Now, does everyone need it? Not necessarily. But if the cause of your kidney disease is unknown or undeterminable, they may actually pursue a kidney biopsy. Do I have diabetes or high blood pressure? The reason you ask that is because those are the two leading causes of kidney disease. Now, let's just say they didn't cause it, if the diabetes and high blood pressure are uncontrolled, they can actually worsen your kidney disease. So you wanna make sure that they are under control. Am I on any medications to protect my kidneys? This is where you need to know about three types of medications that you should consider to be on, you should be considered to be on. 
One is ACE inhibitors, a type of blood pressure medications that end in PRIL, P-R-I-L. Another type is an ARB or angiotensin receptor blocker. It's a blood pressure medication that ends, ends in ARTN, A-R-T-N. The third type of medication are SGL2 inhibitors, which are a type of new diabetic medication which have been proven to protect the kidneys long term. You should ask your doctor, am I on them? And if not, why not? Now, these last set of questions, they should be asked for those people with late stage kidney disease, typically stage four or stage five when you have less than 30% kidney function. Do you think I'm coming close to needing dialysis? Meaning you wanna see what the doctor's opinion is as far as if the kidney function is declining and you're coming close or is it relatively stable or at what point do they think you may need dialysis? What types of dialysis are there? This is where you should know about three types. One is peritoneal dialysis, two is home hemodialysis, and three is in-center hemodialysis. Can I do dialysis at home? Now this is a question that really depends on you, your overall health, your home living situation, do you have support, all those kind of things. But your doctor can determine if you would be a good candidate for dialysis at home. Can you refer me for a kidney transplant evaluation? Now, if your when your kidney function hits less than 20%, you should be refer referred to a transplant center for evaluation. Now, they, the doctor wants to make sure that you are actually a good candidate. Again, that will be, determ be determined by how good your overall health is, your age, um, your compliance with your medication, and all these other things. But definitely, this is a question you should ask your nephrologist. Well, I hope that helped you all out. And I really want you to be empowered and feel confident when you're talking to a doctor. If you found this video helpful, please like and share it. Oh, you got something to say or have questions? Leave some comments in the comment section below. And remember, it's your kidneys, your health.